is up guys today we have a review of one of the most anticipated die casts of the year 2019 this is jack harvey's meyer shank racing um, number 60 sirius xm auto nation delara by greenlight in 1 to 18 scale so let's talk about this um team i mean now obviously they won an indy 500 but let's throw it back to how they even got started in the first place now, at the time, it was known as Mike Shank Racing, and they raced primarily in sports cars. Uh, Michael Shank, the team owner, uh, he had a dream of running Indianapolis, and he purchased a new Delara DW12 Cub back in 2012. Now, ultimately, the funding wasn't there to do the IndyCar team, so he ultimately sold the chassis. However, skip ahead five years, he did ultimately make his first appearance at the Indianapolis 500. It was a one-off. It was... The number uh, number 50, sorry, it took me a second to remember that one. Number 50, Mike Shank Racing 500 with Andretti Autosport entry. So, yes, it was an Andretti Autosport car along with Fernando Alonso that year. Um, and then in 2018, they switched over to... Um, it's so hard for me not to say Aero McLaren SP but um, with Schmidt Peterson Motorsports, where they had an absolutely beautiful chrome, pink chrome and black car. Um, and then in 2019, they continued that partnership with McLaren Schmidt Peterson, uh, or excuse me, Aero Schmidt Peterson Motorsports, because Aero took up a title role within the team. And then for 2020, they went ahead and moved on back to Andretti Autosport. And as a technical partner within the team. Sorry, I'm just dusting off it a little bit. And then obviously in 2021, they expanded to two cars and look how well that ended up for them. Well, expanded two cars for the Indy 500 and look how well that went for them. Now they did partial schedules until last year where it was Jack Harvey's first full season. Now he's in his second full season. This team has been pretty close to race wins and stuff. They've actually gotten a podium at the Grand Prix of Indianapolis and they are always a threat at the Indy road course but it wasn't the longtime driver Jack Harvey that got the win first win for Mike Shank Racing it was Helio Castro Nevis so anyways let's look at this car so in 2019 they didn't do the chrome however they did a metallic pink um, on this car which is still very nice looking um, so on the nose we have Aero Schmidt Peterson Motorsports that one year that that existed. Um, we have Sirius XM on the front wing. Um, going up the front nose, we got uh, Meyer Shank Racing. Delara, a little bit oversized NTT IndyCar Series logo. Honda, because, and you will never see this team running Chevrolets because they are an Acura factory team in the IMSA WeatherTech Championship. So you will never see them running Chevrolets. That was probably one of the primary reasons why they switched back to Andretti Autosport uh, when it became Aero McLaren SP, because Aero McLaren SP switched to Chevys, and again, this team very loyal to Honda. The number 60 um, on the nose, Auto Nation, Sirius XM, and Drive Pink with a little license plate. Now, at the time that this car was produced, it um, was the only Auto Nation car. Uh, now we got, ooh, it looks like a little bit of super glue residue there. But now we got Alexander Rossi contesting half the races. Of course, there was some races where Rossi and Marco ran Sirius XM Auto Nation, or well, uh, Auto Nation cars, not Sirius XM. Anyways, up here we have Lucas Oil, which was a team sponsor for um, Aero Schmidt Peterson. We have Aero Paints. My car is a little bit dusty. I'm sorry. Um, we have Kennedy something, and then. RCO RV, Sirius XM on the side pod, Auto Nation, another Auto Nation, Jack Harvey with the U Union Jack flag and drive pink. We have the NTT IndyCar Series, and we also have the Leader Light. Um, so this was probably the Indy 500 um, spec car, considering the uh, LED panel did not run much in 2019 and didn't even make it through the full season we were back to just the generic numbers at the end of the season also of note this is one of four die casts ever produced with the afp the advanced frontal protection and on the front it's got or on the side here it's got sirius xm on it 
The other one, um, the other ones that were produced with the AFP was the Simon Pagano 8500 winner, the Joseph Newgarden Championship car, this one of course, and then the other one would have been the um, Felix Rosenquist 2019 car. So those were the only four to be produced with the AFP on the car. Looks a little undersized to me, but I mean, it, they still put it on there, which is pretty all right. Um, anyways, here on the side, Auto Nation, Arrow, and then the NTT P1 Pull Award. On the tire flick, we got Drive Pink and Sirius XM. Uh, your little electrical warning thing there. Oops, let me focus. There we go. And then Speedway Gas Stations, because Speedway, the official fuel of the NTT IndyCar Series until um, show comes in. Anyways, Honda here on the engine cover. And by the way, this pink, this metallic pink, ugh, Greenlight just did an amazing job. I, I am critical of Greenlight, sometimes overly, but ah, that metallic pink is just a fantastic, fantastic looking color. Uh, anyways. On the rear wing, we got number 60, because, you know, back when numbers were on the rear wings. Uh, Auto Nation on the rear wing itself. On the back, don't need to go into how inaccurate the diffuser is, because we already know. And this side, pretty much the same thing. Forgot to mention the Firestone logos, because let's not forget, for whatever you drive, drive a Firestone. Uh, I could make a Carol Shelby joke, and I kind of am tempted to. Okay, fine. You got you guys convinced me. My name's Carol Shelby, and there's only two things I need to do to get onto a racetrack. Number one, I need my nitroglycerin pills. And number two, I need to make sure my car is driving a firestone or driving on firestones. I had to. Oh, we got a little bit of decal peeling. Arrow. By the way, whenever we get a car with like arrow paints on it, it just ah, oh, Man. I think I screwed up that decal. That one's not on green light, that one's on me. Meow, meow, meow. Uh, anyway, so the DIN number on this one is 165, made by green light, of course, as it says on the bottom, if you didn't already know. Uh, cockpit, again, it's the basic green light, a steering wheel, a seat, and a headrest, that's it. Um, oh, man, again, when I said that this is one of the most anticipated diecasts of 2000, and 19 it really was um this the story of M meyer shank racing and jack harvey in the sport is one of real and especially of meyer shank racing is of really overcoming the odds and making it and accomplishing dreams and now we look at this team and they will forever have an indy 500 win on their record and that is something amazing so you know, if you ever need a team to cheer for, it's definitely um, Meyer Shank Racing. I keep wanting to call it Mike Shank Racing because growing up as a fan of uh, the Rolex uh, Sports Car Series, the Grand Am Rolex Sports Car Series, I've I've always known it as Mike Shank Racing, and it's always been MSR, and it's still MSR. It's just the M stands for something else. But this team, this car, what what more can I say? It's a fantastic looking car. You can't really get them anymore, but if you get the opportunity to, I would. And it's just because it looks bloody fantastic. Um, so anyways, that's the review of this car. I mean, I didn't really cover the body of the car too much because we all know what these look like. We all know what they're like. Um, by the way, I want to throw this in there that this rear wing on the road course car does not have the louvers. Need to need to add that in and i will add that in every review i do from now on every single one anyways um so that's about it for this review guys um thanks for watching of course hit the subscribe button down below if you enjoyed it for more diecast um racing collectibles content be sure to hit that subscribe button hit the like button share it with your friends uh whatever you guys do i'm like talking so 2012 youtuber um, I'm not saying hit that notification bell yet, so uh, there's a couple years left to go before that hits. Anyways, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys, and we will see you in the next video. Peace out.